everybody it's Lynn thank you so much for joining me today today I am very excited because I am doing a collab with all of my lady friends from Beauty and Beyond which is a fabulous group run by Miss Nikki Murphy um, and Thrifty Chica as well um, so I am super excited to be a part of this thank you ladies for letting me join you you're awesome you rock in every conceivable way possible Today we are doing our ride or die favorite beauty products and I am doing all makeup just because I have been experimenting with skincare and um, I do have one favorite product but I figured we could stick with makeup so um, these products are not the newest and the latest and greatest at least for me they are products that I will put on if I'm in a hurry um, if I'm going out all day, I, there are products I know will perform, I know won't let me down, that I don't have to experiment with as far as how to apply them or what's the best way, etc, etc, etc. So, without further ado, I will share with you my ride or die products and I hope that you will check out all of the ladies below because I haven't seen any of their videos yet but I am predicting we will all have different products that work for us and hopefully you can find some that work for you. I guess we should just start with face, huh? Um, no, no particular order or anything. I guess I'll start and go by how I actually apply my makeup. So I did not include a foundation um, on this video because I don't have a holy grail ride or die foundation. I'm still looking for that. I think I might have found it actually. I think I just might have purchased it yesterday, but I've only worn it a couple of times and I want to wear it more and see how it performs before I tell you that it's the best thing since sliced bread. So these all, all the rest of these products though I have been using for quite a long time. This is the Maybelline Fit Me um, finishing powder and it is mine is in the shade uh, I believe yeah 120 classic ivory and it is just it just looks like this um, it's a powder then if you open it up a little bit more there is a mirror here so it's always nice to have a mirror product in my purse because let's face it your makeup is gonna run all over your face and you're going to need to touch up throughout the day. So um, you can probably see the huge dent I've made in this puppy so far. It is not quite a translucent powder. Um, yeah, it's definitely got some color to it, but um, not much. It won't ruin like any of the contouring or blush or anything you've done, or it can soften that up if you have accidentally given yourself clown face. So that's kind of nice. Um, stays on all day. It's mattifying. Um, it is really nice. It's not my number one top favorite, but I've been using it a lot since my son decided to break and shatter my Rimmel Stay Matte, which is probably probably my most favorite. But I have to say that this, um, I haven't repurchased it because this has worked so well and performed so well for me. I will say the foundation, the Fit Me foundation, I hated it though. So um, do that at your own risk. Some people love it, but I don't. So. The Fit Me powder, um, just a really good finishing powder. Um, it's not going to give you enough coverage to be used as a foundation, but it helps if you're like me and you have some uneven skin and some, you know, little devils on your cheeks or whatever like I do. It will definitely help cover those up. The next product I want to talk about is something so near and dear to my heart I almost want to cry. This is the e.l.f. Contour and Highlight Palette. It's mainly a contour palette really, but um, it is the coolest thing ever. This thing is like six dollars you guys and you get four really generous sized uh, shades to work with. I will say I am not a huge fan of this highlighting shade. It's not very intense it, and it seems to wear off quickly. However the other three shades, the yellow correcting powder, the bronzer over here and the contour shade are amazing. They are finely milled, they are pigmented, they stay where you put them and they really, really, really do offer a great contour. Um, very simple, very easy. You can contour bronze and color correct all in one. So I am a huge fan of this. And my next holy grail, and you can see this puppy is almost used up. All of this is gone. Um, this is the Maybelline Age Rewind um, concealer, and it, it just it has a little foam thing like this, which mine is very dirty. Uh, I need to wipe it off probably. But I don't care. I know a lot of people are like, oh, there's germs, it's gross, but I don't care. It's only going on my face, so it hasn't bothered me at all. And this is just the best. It's in the shade, the brightening or whatever shade. Um, it is the best under eye concealer and brightener that I have found. It, you can um, put it down your nose, you can put it under your eyes, you can put it really anywhere you want to because it blends beautifully. It's good coverage, but not like 
super thick. It's actually a very thin consistency, really, really easy to use, and it really just makes me look like I'm not dead tired from running after freaking toddlers all day. So, you know, it helps me lie. <laughs> so I, I love this thing. I will definitely be repurchasing over and over and over again because this, this is my ride or die right here. And now that we are done with face, shall we move along to eyes? Yes, I think we should. Because I have lots of eye products in here for some reason. All right. This is by far my favorite brow gel of all time. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Brow Gel. It's just a clear gel. Looks like this. Um, it is amazing, this stuff. It doesn't make them super crunchy or sticky. It stays all day. You can tell it's gotten a little gunked up from, you know, brow product, but that's okay. Um, there's not a whole heck of a lot in here, and it is pretty expensive, I will say that. So um, one thing that I would suggest, um, I got the, sent this to review, and I am very grateful for it. Uh, I just want to make it really clear I did not purchase this. But, however, I do plan to purchase it again the next time it comes on Hot Look. Hot Look is a site that where you can um, purchase makeup for a significant discount. Um, it is through Nordstrom, so it's not shady or anything like that. Um, it does take a while to ship, so if you want something right now, it's probably not for you, but I will leave the link down below so that you can check it out if you're interested, but this brow gel is by far my favorite product that they sent me, and it is amazing. It is one that I would go out and repurchase in a heartbeat. This is the Milani Shadow Eyes Eye Crayon, and it is in Champagne Toast. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see it, but it is a beautiful, beautiful, just like shimmery nude. Um, it is great for an eye base. It is also really good to um, line your bottom waterline so that your eyes look more awake. This thing, I mean, it's been through some stuff. You can see my uh, kid chewed on it <laughs> like a pencil, but it survived. So I'm really glad and this is another one I will definitely be repurchasing. This is the only shadow eyes I have had, but it is such a creamy, beautiful formula. I would like to try them all. So um, good job, Milani. And I love this thing and I've been using it for months and it's still, look at all the products that's left. It's amazing. Another thing I want to talk to you about, and this is not news to anybody, but it definitely made a splash um, this year specifically, I've heard it talked about a lot, are the Maybelline Color Tattoos in the Pots. Um, they have a dry uh, powder formula, which I also really like a lot. You do have to make sure you prime your eyelids and set it and everything, but they work really well. They stay all day, but these, these are amazing. Um, they work really well as an eye base. This is my favorite one. It is called Barely Branded, and it looks like this inside. And there is one drawback to this product, and that is that they dry out. However, there are ways that you can fix that and extend the life of your product. This doesn't crease. This doesn't move. This stays where you put it, so you have to blend it really quick. Um, but it is just amazing. I use this as almost like an eye primer. Um, I didn't have an eye primer for a couple months, and I was too lazy slash cheap to go buy one. So um, this has definitely been a huge favorite for me. Okay, on to eyeshadow and eyeshadow palettes. Um, I don't have a big, large palette to share with you just because I really like all of the ones that I've gotten for the most part, especially the high-end ones. Um, they're a lot of money. They're expensive. They're really nice. Go get them if, if you can afford them and if you want to splurge and, and pamper yourself. By all means, they're amazing. Um, but I have a little $10 palette for you from NYX. Um, this is the Love in Paris. And I've had, I have a couple different ones of these, but this one is my favorite. This is Parisian Chic, and it is a cool toned neutral palette. I can get it open. It does not have a mirror, um, and it did at one point, it did at one point have a brush, but I didn't use it. Um, so these are the shades. You can tell this one has been really, really well loved. Um, has a great transition shade, um, a good highlighting white shade, and, and just a nice mix of mattes and shimmers. If I need to put on an eyeshadow look within like a minute and a half, I can do it with this. And it won't be like, you know, Instagram perfect or anything, but it will be a nice neutral look that I'm comfortable wearing that looks nice and that I know will stay all day. Um, hold it right side up. <laughs> the NYX eyeshadows are hit and miss. I will say this is the one part of this brand that I'm not particularly fond of is that you really... 
there's been some bad NYX palettes, I will just say it, but these are really, really good. They're creamy, they're buttery. There is a little bit of fallout with them, but not too bad. I really do enjoy them. The last eye product I want to talk to you about is a mascara, and this is CoverGirl, the Super Sizer, and mine is almost dry. But it has this little tiny inconsequential, inconsequential bleh, wand that uh, you don't think will do anything for your lashes, but oh baby, it does, it does. And the nice thing about that little bitty wand is you can get your uh, lower lashes as well. Um, this is like, what, it's like seven bucks, maybe, if even that. This is the, literally my favorite mascara, uh, high-end drugstore or otherwise. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't come off. It is easy to get off with um, makeup wipes or remover or whatever, but um, I love this. This is by far my holy grail ride or die mascara and I, this one's almost dried up so I will be repurchasing it very soon. I did not include a blush in here just because there's so many good ones out there and they're kind of subjective and you know, they're whatever you like. Um, so I'm going to move along to lips. This is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator, and this is their original one. I don't have their other ones. A lot of people don't like this because it is, it's pretty rough. It feels pretty rough, um, but it, it just works really well. It exfoliates. I would recommend putting on a balm afterwards, but um, you don't have to go wash your mouth off or anything like that. You just kind of put it on. Um, it tastes good. <laughs> it's not gross, so I mean, I wouldn't recommend you eat it, but... It's a good little product and this has saved my lips. This along with a couple of balms I've been using has saved me from dry, disgusting lips and I am eternally grateful. And my lipstick, uh, I wear a different lipstick every day, but the one I come back to the most, this is the Rimmel by Kate formula. And when I first got it, it was just wet and it smeared everywhere and I really didn't like it. However, a couple months later, I got it in August, I think in an influencer box, a couple months later, I tried it again, and it is beautiful. It dries just about matte. I'm wearing it today. Here's the swatch. Um, this stuff is amazing. I mean, it doesn't stay on any better than any other lipstick or anything like that, but it doesn't travel too much. It um, feels not really drying on the lips. It feels good on the lips, and it is very, very pigmented and beautiful, so I love it. The final thing I wanted to talk to you about is a brush, and this is, God, this is dirty, I'm sorry. This is the e.l.f. blending brush, and it just looks like this, it's their short one. This thing, oh my gosh, it is so multifaceted, I've found so many uses for it. It's good for contouring, it's good for blush, it's good for highlighting, it's good for blending, that's what I use it most for, is to kind of blend everything together. That's why it is dirty as all get out, and again, I am so about that. I didn't realize that before I stuck it in this little basket, but um, there it is. So those are my ride or die for 2015, my ultimate favorite of the favorite, best of the best, and the ones I throw on if I'm in a hurry or if I just don't want to screw with wondering if my makeup's going to work or not. So thank you guys so much, and thank you Leah for letting me be a part of this collab and organizing it all. Um, please go check out my friends from Beauty and Beyond. It is a wonderful group, and they are wonderful ladies. I look forward to catching you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye!